Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am Gold Raven. This one is a introduction to another YouTuber. Now, this is a friend of mine who's been YouTubing for quite a while, but I had just met him recently and started watching some of his streams and stuff. He also does class guides, which are essential to knowing the classes that you want to run with. I've been doing a lot of PvP lately. And it's thanks to players like Yogi who provide helpful information that I've been able to push forward in that front. It also helps to have good teams to play with, which I've had the fortune of doing. And check out my stats. These are my PvP stats as of right now. I'm just over 100 wins, which I'm really proud of. And I've um, been slowly gaining a lead on the KD because I really wanted to. I, I'm a killer i like to go for kills if possible but i do go for caps as you can well see now obviously these stats are lame in comparison to some of the other amazing pvpers out there now this video is a collaboration with yogi he has a youtube channel which you will find in the description you'll also find it pinned in the comments of this video i highly recommend checking him out as he does some live streams as well as class guides and other guides as well he recently put a lot of work into a pvp guide and we coordinated our videos together so his video uploaded just a couple hours before mine if you guys have been struggling in PvP or if you play PvP regularly and think you know everything, check that video out. I'm going to be showing highlights from that PvP guide, but there is way more information that I'm not showing because I'm just showing glimpses. So it's definitely a good idea for you to jump over to his channel, smash that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of his uploads. Yogi's in the i guild. Now this is a guild that focuses mainly on PvP or at least that's one of the main aspects. I'm not exactly sure how you would join up with them but if you ever see anybody with the i tag you could certainly inquire on how to join their guild. Now let's check out some of the highlights of Yogi's PvP guide. Hello friends, we are going to be talking about PvP today, yes, specifically the 5v5 game mode that went live not too long ago. Now, we are going to go over classes based on how well they do at a high skill cap in the 5v5 game mode. Guardian has the highest survivability, really good at support healing, and it has enough damage to safely defend and contend points, making it good anywhere on the map as long as it's taking a defensive position. Mage is currently highest and fastest burst class just because of the PvP spell Swift cast, great for guaranteed kills in team fights, turning 2v2s and 3v3s into a quick 2v1 and 3v2. Still a great class without swift cast, but it is much easier to be killed when swift cast is not ready, and it may remain S tier unless swift cast gets nerfed in the future. Ninja is a very high consistent DPS class, secures kills easily, great for temporary control point defense, and great in team fights. Only downside is its damage has a ramp up with its buffs, however, the buffing up is pretty quick, and to maintain 100% damage, you'll have to manage your buffs for the whole entire game which may be difficult for some people. Berserker is a very high damage with very little downtime due to auto attack speed increase the lower your health is. Very good pick for team fights due to their high damage at start and even higher damage in mid and end game fighting. Only downside is it can be squishy and tends to get focused a lot. Rogue deals high burst damage and has a high damage over time as well. It's basically two in one. It can kill people if low enough just to dots even if the rogue dies too. Excellent at killing tanks and just anything in general general, earning its slot in A tier. Dragon Slayer is a very consistent damage class, can kill tanks or shut down casters and healers pretty brutally, great in smaller team fights or team fights that require you to counter casters or healers, earning its A tier slot. Paladin is a great aggressive support class, can reduce damage on yourself or allies by 25%, shines in smaller team fights because of how its support works, less survivability than Guardian, giving Paladin the A tier slot. The Warrior class has early burst or end fight burst, good when paired up with certain classes fairly decently sized window of downtime giving it the tier slot in B. Necromancer class is easily S tier with its ultimate as it can ravage a team fight really quickly. Easily A tier if your skeleton is not getting killed, but Necromancer receives the B slot because of how much skeleton dies, leaving you with mana problems very frequently in fights. The healer class can be either really good or really bad. Really good in situational big team fights, but it is amazing in smaller team fights. Healing can be out damaged, placing healer in the B tier slot. The pirate class 
class is known for being very RNG based. You either go all game with no flax or you get back to back flax. It's good anywhere, but because of its Mr. Hit with RNG, it's being placed in the B tier. Ranger is a great crowd control class. It's good for disrupting team movement. Because it lacks in defending and 1v1ing department on top of CCing, a whole team is hit or miss. It's being placed in the C tier. The Mogulmancer class can provide crit and defense buffs. The healing is out damaged really easy, even with presence of mind, and surviving as a Mogul can be very, very tough. Because the damage is not that great and the healing is easily out damaged, it's being placed in the bottom of the totem pole in D tier. So now let's get into explaining what the game mode is. The game mode is control points. So what is control points? You want to control two or more zones to generate points for your team. So how many points do you get per zone? You get five points per zone equaling to 15 points for all zones controlled. How do I capture a zone? By standing inside of the zone you start to capture it. If you have an enemy inside the zone will be contested but if you have more people on the point than the enemy team you will start to capture the point and vice versa. So how do I win in this game mode? So by controlling two or more points you start to generate five points per zone equaling out to a total of 15 points. The goal is to get to 750 points before the enemy team does which is what gives you the win. So let's go over some very basic stuff that can help your team win. So what can you do to help your team? By capturing zones, fighting as a team, defending zones, and making sure you fight on points and not chasing for kills. Remember, your KDA does not matter, what matters is securing and controlling points. When should you be grabbing healing nodes? Well, when you're at 25% or lower, you want to go try and grab one, or when you're rotating to another point to grab a health node on the way there. How long does it take for them to respawn? It takes a total of 30 seconds for a health node to respawn, so don't get greedy. And lastly, how do I know when to run away? When you've lost the team fight and you're alone on a point 1 versus 2 or in between 1 versus 2 to 5. How do I flee? You want to flee or run away only to regroup and go back in as a team fight so that way you're not fighting multiple people just by yourself. And there we go. Those were the highlights from his video. To check out the entire thing, you can check the pinned comments in this video or in the description. Big thanks to Yogi for collaborating with me on this one. Let's try to get him to a thousand subs. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.